What's up guys, it's Alianka. You're watching your favorite BC TV. Well, this time we're introducing a new face to what we've done before. Len Robbins, senior beat writer. Is that what they're calling you nowadays? That's better than what I usually get called. I'll take it. Well, I'm going to call you that. Okay. Um, and today we're talking specifically about broken hoops, and I hear that you're an expert on it, so I'm going to kind of pick your brain to see what you think. Obviously, it's one of our main franchises here at Barclays Center, so I wanted to get your take on what it means to have a franchise like Brooklyn Hoops, bringing in college basketball to Brooklyn, to Barclays Center, to this arena. Well, look, I think it's great. I mean, you're talking to a guy, I might have given it away with my accent already, who was born and raised in this borough. And I know what it's like to go outside and dribble a basketball and have 20 kids out there within 10 minutes and next thing you know you've got a game going I mean basketball in Brooklyn is like ice skating in Moscow I would imagine I mean everybody does it it doesn't matter whether you're any good at it or not it's just part of the fabric of the culture so to have this here and this kind of a facility you know I've spoken to players who said from Brooklyn who said they could never have dreamed of this this is a fantasy for them well, the interesting thing about it for me is the fact that, you know, obviously in having kids playing it outdoors, having them being able to come here and to play marking matchups, uh, which we'll be having, we have a full schedule this year. So what are some of those? Uh, what are some of the marking matchups the fans can look out for? Uh, I don't know how much time we have, but boy, we've got a couple of them. I mean, first thing that jumped out at me was Kentucky Providence. Now, Kentucky is everybody's number one ranked team in America. And I'm sure that Kentucky fans and a lot of people think Kentucky is going to come in here, they're going to blow Providence out. Not going to happen. Providence is going to come and play. But think about some of the other teams that are coming here. Michigan, a surprise Final Four team last year under John Beeline. Michigan State, the number two ranked team in the preseason. Michigan State and Kentucky will play each other in the regular season. They'll each play here. They may know what it's going to be like to face each other in the most important weekend of the college basketball season. Locally, St. John's thinks it has the best team it's had since Luke Conoseco was the coach and they were going to the Final Four. Fordham at the Tom Pecora thinks that they're ready to make a move. So for the programs both nationally and locally, and I think that's what sets Barclays Center apart, you're serving two masters and you're serving them really well. And we also talk about the idea of what it does for the players. So what does it mean for them to be part of these marquee matchups? Oh, for them, it's a lifetime of learning in one night. I mean, think about if you're dreaming about being an NBA player one day, and you're sitting and dressing in the same stall that LeBron James dressed in. And think about this. Your goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. Your ultimate goal is to get to the Final Four. Well, when that happens, you're not playing, obviously, in your arena. So when you play in your arena, you know where you have to go to get tape. You know where the training room is. You know where the pre game is, you know all that. If you're going to succeed in the NCAA tournament, you have to be able to adapt. You have to be able to know what it's like to say, okay, it's a little bit different here. Where do I go? What do I, hey, I've done this before. I know what this is like. You want to be as comfortable as you can as an athlete because that's when you're most successful. So for them, they take all that knowledge, they put it in their back pocket, and the most important time of the year, that's when they pull it out. And of course, you know, coming to a new arena, you're kind of split in between different types of fans. But the fan base is what really drives the energy and kind of um, pulls the team forward to a potential win. So talk about the fan base and how they, how important they are to a franchise. It's a great question. Two things come to mind. You know, when I was still working for the New York Post, I covered the Kentucky-Maryland game here last year. And I was so accustomed to bad early season, boring basketball. And I walked in here and the crowd, the energy, it felt like an NCAA tournament game and it literally like it took me back for a second and that whole night was one of those nights that in my mind I'm going to remember that game for as long as I do this, okay? You know, if you think about for the players and the fans, for some of them, this may be the only chance that they get to see their alma mater or their team in their own backyard, right? I get it that New York is a pro team, right? We've got the Nets and we've got all these other great franchises, it's a given. But Think about the people who live in your neighborhood. Where did they go to school? Michigan, Notre Dame, St. John's, Fordham. They're all from around here within 10 miles. So for them, the only thing better would be if they played the game in their living room. I mean, that and the fact that we have amazing food here as well. And, you know, there's a DJ and it's just, it's a family environment here. You know what I mean? So it's it's an incredible event here that we have in uh, at Barclays Center. Brooklyn Hoops, Len Robbins, Alianka signing up. And we'll be talking college hoops all year, right? Sounds good to me. I'm Thank excited. You. You've been watching BCTV.